All right, like I said, today you're going to be taking notes. We're going to do some example problems from the book, and then I'm going to give you some practice problems to do, and then there will be an electronic assignment posted relating to the notes and the practice problems. So when you guys are taking notes, all right, you're in your notebook, you're in your section of the notebook for this class, all right, and on your piece of paper, your piece of paper should look like what's on the wall right now. All right, you're going to take your notes. All right, and you're going to basically, your notes for today are going to be working these practice problems, these examples. All right, so you got notes on your paper down to maybe here. Well, then after your notes, you're going to write down, and I'm going to give it to you shortly, but you're going to write down the assignment. And then you're going to work the problems in the assignment. All right, number one, number two, number three. And I recommend that you circle your answers. All right, because the more organized you keep your practice problems, the easier it will be to do the electronic assignment. Because the electronic assignment is just going to ask you questions related to the practice problems. They may ask you something like, true or false, the answer to number two is six. So you'll have to look at number two for this page and determine whether that answer is true or false. All right, that electronic assignment will be posted where the one was the other day on the main page of Focus. All right, so any questions till now? All right, so we're on page P10 today, and we're going to work with algebraic expressions. And what you're going to be asked to do is to evaluate each expression. If. And then you're going to be given a value for each variable. I'm going to change the values of the variable in your questions, but I'm going to do a bunch of example problems for you. So we got if A is equal to 3, and then B is equal to negative 4, C is equal to negative 2. And D is equal to, let's say, 5. And then your expressions will look like we got 2 times A plus C. After you write the expression down, the next thing that you want to do is substitute these values into the expression for the variables. So 2 times a plus c would be rewritten as 2 times 3 plus our c is negative 2. And from here, you can just type it into the calculator. All right, 2 times 3 is 6 plus negative 2 is 4. Done. A number next to a variable means to multiply. So we want to make sure we put this 3 in parentheses because a number next to parentheses means to multiply. All right, our next example. We got BD divided by 2C. And when we rewrite that, our B is equal to negative 4, and our D is equal to 5, and we're going to divide that by 2 times negative 2. So 
So when you've got a fraction like this, we're going to do everything in the numerator and denominator first. So in the numerator, negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. And in the denominator, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then we're going to divide. Negative 20 divided by negative 4, that's positive 5. And again, once you substitute the values for the variables, you can do everything in the calculator. Number three, we got 2D minus A. And that is divided by B. So when we rewrite it, that's 2 times 5 minus 3 divided by B, which is negative 4. So in the numerator, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 3 is 7. Negative 4 is by itself, so it just moves over. And then this becomes negative 7 over 4. Now, if the 7 over 4 divides to a whole number, then we would simplify it and write it as a whole number. But if you take 7 and divide it by 4 in your calculator, it's like 1.8. So we're just going to leave it as negative 7 fourths. Number four, we got 3D minus C. All right, so we're going to substitute. So three times our D, which is five, minus C, which is, be careful here, okay? So we got three times D minus, and then we're subtracting a negative two. Now, anytime that you subtract a negative, all right, you can keep the first value the same, but you can keep and then change, change. Or you can just type it into your calculator, 3 times 5, which is 15, minus negative 2, which would be 17. Problem or example number five, we got 3B divided by 5A plus C. When we rewrite that, we got three times the value of B, which is negative four. And we're going to divide that by 5 times A, which is 3, plus C, which is negative 2. And 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. 5 times 3 is 15 plus negative 2. And 15 plus negative 2 would be 13. Nothing goes into 12 and 13 evenly, so we just finish this as negative 12 over 13. All right, example six, five BC. Five BC means five times B times C. So we got five times the value of B, which is negative four, times the value of C, which is negative two. And again, you can type this right into the calculator. 
So 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 times negative 2 is positive 40. Example seven, we got two CD plus three AB. Now, if you think back to your order of operations, you've got two times C times D plus three times A times B. We gotta do the multiplication first. And then after the multiplication, we can add these two values together. So we got 2 times the C, which is negative 2, times D, which is 5. And we're going to add that to 3 times the A, which is 3, times B, which is negative 4. So again, we're going to do all the multiplication first. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, plus 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. And now we can add. So negative 20 plus negative 36 would be negative 56. All right, and last example here, number eight, C minus 2D, and we're going to divide that by A. So our value of C, we got negative 2 minus 2 times 5. And we're going to divide all of that by A, which is 3. So in the numerator, we got negative 2 minus 10 divided by 3. And negative 2 minus 10 is negative 12 divided by 3. And negative 12 divided by 3 is equal to negative 4. And again, we're going to do all the calculations in the numerator first, and then we divide by the value in the denominator. All right, so any questions on any of those examples? All right. Then your practice problems for today. Now, you want to write this down, okay? Practice is going to be page P10, 1 through 8. Page P10, 1 through 8. Make sure you number each problem when you do it so that it's easy for you to reference it when you do the electronic assignment. All right? You can do the assignment right underneath your notes. Just try to keep everything together in your notebook because when you get your electronic assignment, there may be questions from the notes and or there may be questions from the practice problems that you do. Anybody have any questions? All right, then. You're going to spend the rest of the period working on those problems. Reminder that your posters are due.
August 22nd at the latest. Nobody has turned a poster in yet, so hopefully you're working on them. Hopefully you've got them almost finished and you're ready to just bring it to school and turn it in. Okay.